Well, today I thought I'd take on a new project. It's installing a uh, little LED that will give me a voltage indicator on the motorcycle. I ended up using, this is a Gamatronic integrated LED battery charge level indicator. And these are the instructions for it. Gamatronic. And anyway, it was something I bought a long time ago. And I had planned to put it into the in instrument cluster. And since I've got the bike torn apart for the stereo installation, I thought that this would be a really good time to get that done. So here we go, and this is what I done did. On the back of the cluster, all I did was there was, a, there was a blanking cap here. Popped out that cap and put the new indicator in there with... This is waterproof RTV for making gaskets, and this will just last for forever. Now, I probably will go ahead and just cover this jumper here because I don't have any use to take the jumper off. What the jumper does is it changes when the light changes colors, and I like it with the, I mean, my preference is with the jumper installed. Hardest part is just getting the panel out. Well, after getting the instrument uh, cluster off the motorcycle, and getting it torn apart and taking the front cover off. I, you know, how, where do I get a lens? I needed a lens that showed a battery symbol. And I tried different things. I took uh, some plastic from an overhead uh, light and cut a little square out of it. And that kind of looked a little hokey. Tried another one, still looked hokey. Found a little plastic box that I had with some nails in it and made a little plastic square out of that and put it on there. Looked hokey. So then I decided I'd get some old, old overhead projector plastic paper. Of course, this is normal white paper. And I created these templates in PowerPoint of a battery emblem. Of course, if it's black, it will print black on the emblem. If it's white, then it won't print anything. And I tried, I put all different sizes on here and I found a size that would work. I, I did try the solid ones here with just the outline and that was just too too light and so I ended up with a battery that kind of looked like this one if I remember correctly I think it was one of these cut it out match the size and in just a second you'll see what it what it came out to look like it's fun to do though uh, and if anybody wants me to just email you that PowerPoint just send me a message or whatever and I'll send it to you that way you don't have to recreate the wheel and who knows, maybe one of y'all can come up with a better indicator. But uh, I thought it came out pretty slick. So anyway, we'll continue on. Okay, well, let's just give this a little test shot here. I still have everything taken apart. Of course, it's green now. Of course, the second I turn it on, it's going to go yellow. And we're going to start it. And it's slow idle. It, it'll, it might pop in and out of the two. I can't turn my driving lights on right now. There we go, I saw a yellow pop there. Of course my RPM is really super low. I don't have the uh, OEM alternator on this bike. I've got a uh, the upgraded one, it was 90 amp. The OEM Honda alternator doesn't charge at idle. The one I installed does charge at idle. And then it'll go yellow. Oh, no it's not. There we go. Now it's going to go yellow. And as the battery starts to drain, you'll see where it'll start, start flashing yellow which says I'm really draining fast there you go I put on the brake so it goes flashing flashing yellow slow and then it will speed up to flashing yellow fast and then eventually it will just go red but I don't want to completely kill the battery Go ahead and start her before she won't start. So that's a good mod. Good mod for the uh, GL1500.